Welcome stormwater designers. Thank you for watching this video. Today is going to be a hydrology education video. Us at Clear Creek Solutions are very excited to share some of the information that we've known for years in the 50 plus years of experience of our senior staff. And we're very excited to spread this information and education to the hydrology and stormwater community. So we were very excited to present this video. Today, we're going to be looking at the differences between continuous simulation versus single event hydrology. This is going to be a very important video because while one method is sort of presented as the conventional wisdom, there's actually a wave of a revolutionary method that is taking over the industry right now. So we're going to look at these two methods, the pros and cons of each, and maybe what you can do to apply each method to better your designs. First, we're going to talk about Clear Creek Solutions. Not only does Clear Creek Solutions develop software, many world-renowned packages such as WimSwim, WDHM2012, and WWHM4, we also provide stormwater services such as analysis and facility modeling. And in videos like these, we provide hydrology education clinics and workshops to those who need to learn software and hydrology. So let's talk about some background on single event hydrology. This is the primary method that's going to be taught in the universities. It was taught at my university and it's taught at many others. Single event hydrology uses more simplistic equations. You've probably seen equations like Q equals CIA, SES curves, and other ways of calculating volume. Now, in these equations, just to give you a little back, bit of background, Q equals flow, A equals area, and that's usually an acreage. C is the runoff coefficient, and I is the intensity of the rainfall. And this is sort of the building block equation used in single event hydrology. Now, these methods were developed quite a long time ago, 50, 60 years ago, when the technology available to calculate stormwater events was not as advanced as it is today. That's why many call this method, or I like to call this method, slide rule hydrology, because it's very simplistic. It was used even when they you were using slide rules back in college because they needed simplistic algorithms to calculate stormwater events. Now, there are plenty of free and paid software packages that use single event methods to this day. They're easy equations to use, and they're also easy to program and get results out of. Now, let's talk about the pros and cons of single event hydrology. I think maybe some of the benefits of single event hydrology is the equations are easy to use and understand. You can quickly get a result, and in many of the software packages, it's very easy to quickly get a result based on a rainfall event. And as much as we'll talk about how these methods actually work in application, these methods do work well in some parts of the country, but it's gonna depend a lot on the soil moisture conditions and the kind of rainfall that area gets. And uh, this method is basically compatible with a lot of the conventional wisdom of stormwater engineering in the world today. Most people believe that single event hydrology works, and so it's going to fit right in there. Now, there are many problems with single event hydrology. Many ha aren't even discussed in your college classrooms. So let's just talk about that really quick. There are many sort of wrong or incorrect assumptions or jumping to conclusions that are made when using single event hydrology methods. One of those conclusions is that a specific rainfall event will always return that same flood period. And that is just not true because in single event hydrology, soil moisture conditions are basically assumed. And these can be used with various methods, but are often used with uh, curve numbers for uh, soil conditions. And uh, this sort of assumption is not using continuous simulation hydrology, but we will talk about that in a second. Um, single event hydrology cannot account for long-term infiltration as well as it cannot account for back-to-back -back storms. Single event is sort of just a snapshot of a rainfall event. So what I mean by snapshot is it almost is like this event happens in a vacuum. You have your area, your acreage, a rainfall event happens, it produces a sort of flood. There's no you know, going backwards or going forwards from that event, there's no historical data, that is just a snapshot and it happens in a vacuum. This is not how continuous simulation is done. And like I said, I'll explain that. 
single event hydrology, as I said, slide rule hydrology, which has been around for years, does not utilize the latest research when it comes to hydrology, computer technology, programming, and algorithms. So next, let's talk about continuous simulation hydrology. This is the revolutionary approach for modeling and sizing facilities and calculating uh, rainfall events. Now, continuous simulation is different from single event. Events do not happen in a vacuum. It actually models the entire hydrologic cycle. All the water in the soil and that is falling and that happens in the flood, it is all tracked in a continuous simulation hydrology model. It'll route all three components of runoff, surface runoff, inner flow, and the groundwater. And what's really important about continuous simulation hydrology is it accounts for the soil type and the moisture and the current storage of that soil. These events do not happen in a vacuum. There's going to be moisture in the soil. The soil type is going to be different and the storage will be different based on when this stormwater event happens, also based on the previous events that have occurred and the future events. What is really important with continuous simulation hydrology is it utilizes historical rainfall data to model your events. So in single event hydrology, it was just a snapshot. It happened in a vacuum. Rainfall fell and then a storm event occurred. In continuous simulation hydrology, it is based on historical events. So based on what has happened in the past with floods, based on what storms have come before and after, we can more accurately calculate what that runoff is going to be. Um, HSPF was a software engine that was built that uses continuous simulation, and that engine is used to build all of Clear Creek Solutions WWHM products. So continuous simulation hydrology is built right in to everything we do. Let's talk about the pros and cons of continuous simulation, because there are some trade-offs. Let's first talk about the drawbacks. It is a more advanced method of stormwater modeling that is not taught in university and is not used on standardized testing for the most part. It's going to require more background, more education with the people doing the stormwater engineering to understand how it is used. Also, these models may appear more in depth than your single event models and especially your free single event models. And this is just the nature of the beast. Now, us at Clear Creek Solutions design easy to use, sleek, and effective so software packages that use continuous simulation that aren't complicated to use. It is very easy to use and very easy to calculate events. Now, let's talk about the pros of continuous simulation. As I said before, we gain a more accurate hydrologic result and a better understanding of the process based on national, regional, and local water issues. We can also reproduce historic flood events and compare our results with what we've observed, which is very important. We also gain the ability to evaluate how flow control facilities behave over the full range of time of actual hydrologic conditions, not just one vacuum event. So remember, with single event, basically these rainfall events happen in a vacuum, not in continuous simulation. We also gain the ability to produce multi-year long-term records to evaluate runoff and stream flow. So as these events are recorded over time, our ability to calculate, model, and predict these events and how they will occur and the runoff that will occur gets better over time. In single event, these methods are set and cannot be improved upon. So as I mentioned before, there are a lot of problems with single event hydrology. And just to name a few, these single event methods, by their very nature, have no mechanism to simulate back-to-back -back storms. Like I said, the events happen in a vacuum, which is not going to be very accurate. Because as we, as we know, rainfall can occur over a long period of time. The soil is not, not always going to be in one specific condition. There's going to be many conditions based off of many things that have happened uh, based off historical rainfall data. So these sort of equations that are used with single event hydrologies are just not going to accurately predict runoff. Also, the software packages that are using single event methods are very outdated and are relying on very old slide rule hydrology methods. You don't want to be using these methods when you're modeling your facilities because you want accurate results. Real, actual storms that occur in real life do not have a standard shape, volume, or length. There are many factors that are going to affect that storm, and that's what continuous simulation is able to keep in mind. And as I stated before, soil moisture, moisture will vary from one event to the next. It will not be the same 
over the same event or over a couple different events it is going to change based on like i said the climate season storm and soil type and continuous simulation takes this into account so what is our solution we know single event hydrology is not going to get the job done it is not the method for the future relying on slide rule mathematics so how are we going to change the game that's why clear creek solutions developed WIM swim which is a continuous simulation hydrology model where you can size facilities using cutting edge technology and algorithms not only does WIMSWIM use continuous simulation hydrology, which is built off of HSPF, but you can also perform hydraulic functions in the software based off of SWIM. So you can combine hydrology and hydraulics into one usable, effective software package that is sleek, modern, and updated. Like I said, it will blow other software packages out of the water when it comes to your ability to analyze, do data processing, and overall usability. You can see our first look at WimSwim on our YouTube channel and our instructional videos to see all the features WimSwim offers. So you can pick up WimSwim today when you go to clearcreeksolutions.com. You click on WimSwim to view all of your purchase options. I want to thank you all for watching this video. And before you go, I have a free gift for you. We have a free template pack that works in WWHM 2012, WWHM4, WimSwim, all of our software packages. They are templates that have built-in elements that will help you build out your projects immediately, very quickly. Drag and drop templates, start building out your models today. Just give us your email and we will send that to you. Go to the description box down below. I want to thank you all for watching and we will see you guys next time.